सजन चले का तुम विनती करी तेरी पाव पड़े तोरे कितना मनाया फिर भी नहीं सुनी रे छोड़ के कहा चले रात अंधेरा डरावे लोहित मोहे रूलावे पंछी अकेला सुना है बसेरा वाट तक तुर आवन की छोड़ के कहा चले कह मंगाए चे मिजोराम तुमक भल पाओ मिजोराम खटखट चेर संडल गिटार सुरे बय कलदाय नई सूच्च फांगपुई नीला पहाड़े मौन भाषा क्या हूंकार शिखर झुम खेती एरिए थ्रामी मानु धमक रही हाँ हाँ आम दिले विदाय हाथ बाउल कय चिबाय 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 कि ये दृश्य नैना भिराम इसंग्रामी देश यार नाम मिजोराम कह मंगाई मिजोराम तुमक भल पाओ मिजोराम बिल खाउटलिंग लुंगदाय बैरांगे लुंगले शेराशिव हुथियाल कि कलाशिव सकोते जेन जनता सजाग ध्वसर ठाई जेन सृष्टि हे आग कर्तव्यर जेन नाय विराम इतिज्ञार देश जार नाम मिजोराम कह मंगाई मिजोराम कहानी पहरा प्रबाद मते तहानी आदिम एंधार फाली सिंह लुंग गेटेरे ऊल तुमे दिशिला पोहर ढाली पाथियान ईश्वर ज्योति सन्तान धन्यवाद व कलाओ मे धन्यवाद व कलाओ मे संघात नए मरमे मरमे आज ये दिन जेन इतिहास है एना जो जेन सदा दृढ़तर है इ मरम देश जार नाम मिजोराम कह मंगाई मिजोराम मिजोराम अ स्टेट विच हेज ऑफन बीन डिस्क्राइब एज अ सॉन्ग बर्ड ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट द फर्स्ट मिजो चीज वॉज जा मुआका इन द लेट फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी who belong to the Lusai clan It is said that Za Muaka's descendants went to rule over vast tracts of the hills The endless journey of the Mizos from Myanmar in the 18th century is an epic replete with fierce struggles and heroic deeds And by the time they crossed the Tiao River and came to the side the traditional system of village administration had already been perfected the ruling clan came to be known as the silo while the village head was called the lal it was the lal who was responsible for allocation of land for cultivation settling all disputes feeding the poor offering shelter to anyone who sought refuge This chieftainship like in most other tribes of the region was hereditary in nature As for their religion the Mizos of the olden days believed in one supreme being called Pathian The Mizos also directed most of their religious rites towards evil spirits who believed to have been dwelt in streams hills and trees around the middle of the 19th century when the british had already occupied bengal in the west and the barak valley in the north the silo chiefs began to wreak havoc in these british territories the british were prompted to hit back 
and several expeditionary forces were thus sent into the hills to what they called was punish the hill people. The first British expedition into the Mizo Hills, then known as the Lusai Hills, was carried out in the year 1844 with one Captain Blackwood of the Sillet Height Infantry leading it. In 1850, another British expedition led by Lieutenant Colonel Lister was sent to the Lusai Hills, who finally set up the first Assam Rifles base at Aizawl. Such expeditions of the British continued with increased intensity until the entire Lusai Hills, the present-day Mizoram, was finally annexed to British India. An official proclamation bringing the Mizo Hills into British administration, however, was issued only in the year 1895 and soon it was declared a district and placed under the Assam administration. After India attained independence, the Lusai Hills District was renamed as Mizo Hills District and was placed under the sixth schedule of the constitution in 1954. Peace was not yet a part of the Mizo Hills, despite the fact that Mahatma Gandhi had spread non-violence and peace all over India. Around this time, a new wave of political consciousness began to sweep the Mizo mind, leading to an armed political disturbance that had its roots, interestingly, in a massive famine called Motham. The political disturbance and insurgency in the Mizo Hills lasted exactly two decades. The disturbance that almost devastated the Mizo Hills for two decades finally came to a welcome end on June 30th, 1986, with the signing of the Mizo Accord between the underground Mizo National Front and the Government of India. The accord converted the insurgent Mizo National Front into a political party owing allegiance to the Constitution of India and Mizoram became a full-fledged state of the Indian Union. Christianity has an overwhelming impact on Mizoram. Uh, let me tell you the positive impact of Christianity and literature on Mizoram. The literature is born of the Christianity, I should say. When the first two missionaries came to Mizoram in 1894, they have made their alphabet for the Mizo people, and with that, Mizo literature is born. Even though previously we have a tri uh, oral literature, but the written literature is uh, with the Christianity. And now in India, we are ranking second in the literacy in India. And this is purely because of Christianity, I should say. Before Christianity came, there was a sort of schooling in the pre-Christianity pre era, and the script was Bengali. But unfortunately, Mizo students could not understand or could not follow properly the script of Bengali. So they failed miserably. So when Christianity came, a new alphabet uh, in accordance with the Roman script has been formed and with that, literature grows. 
and uh, the life of the Mizo people have been changed completely through Christianity and literature here. All things have been discarded. A new life is uh, uh, obtained now. And this is wrought by the Christianity and literature. And I think the people of Mizoram, almost 100%, is now able to read and write. And these are the blessings we receive from Christianity. And now the literature is progressing till now satisfactorily, even though there are a lot of scope for improvement. I am very happy for that. The first Lusai was converted on March 30th, 1896, while the first church came up in the Mizo Hills in October the same year. The Mizos are one of the finest choir singers in the Northeast. Nearly 95% of the Mizos are Christians, with various denominations of the church working here. One great achievement that the state has recorded is a very, very high rate of literacy. And that is thanks to the advent of Christianity in Mizoram. With over a 90% of literacy rate, Mizoram today is also rare, classless, and casteless state in the whole of India, which they have to thank Christianity for once again. There is no caste system here, but there is labor equality. And these various kinds of jobs are performed all over Mizoram by the Mizos themselves. Mizoram has progressed from one of the worst insurgency affected states of the country to an island of peace. In spite of the fact that we, the people of Mizo, occupy second position in literature throughout uh, the country, and our state being one of the most peaceful states in India, I am not satisfied with our uh, present condition because of the fact that in higher literature we are still lacking behind. And uh, we need some sort of higher education and a technical line and job oriented institution here in Mizoram. Because the problem we are facing here in Mizoram is the unemployment problem, which is very much here. And it is not only Mizoram, but it is the whole of the Northeast. That unemployment problem among the youth is so much that uh, rebellions and insurgencies are also the offspring of the unemployment issue. And that is why here we have a lot of problem in the Northeast. My people, our students, are very much ignorant of Hindi, which is the national language. And because of that, they face a lot of problems. Even when some uh, uh, jobs are offered down there in the mainstream, since most people do not speak Hindi, they feel difficult to uh, be absorbed in the uh, companies and all. So for that, I need a teacher a good teacher who can not only speak uh, English but even Hindi very fluently because uh, I need a teacher who can propagate Hindi here in Mizoram. And then secondly, uh, in order to have a good national integrity, uh, frankly speaking, there is a sense of alienation, sense of uh, isolation, and even sense of deprivation among the youth of the Northeast especially in Mizoram also, in order to, to do away with this sense of uh, deprivation or alienation, uh, exposure of people to the mainstream life is very much important. But unfortunately, Mizoram is not connected with the uh, 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 railway map 
only railhead up to Bairabi we have. Flight is very costly. Uh, general people could not uh, have any access or any uh, means of communication to expose themselves to the mainstream of India. And moreover, for this, uh, very often I am tempted to believe that mainstream people misunderstood the Northeast somehow. I am sure previously we, the Mizo people, have a sense of isolation and we fought independence. But now we are completely changed after peace accord that we feel Indian, we feel Indian, and we belong to India, and the people of Mizo, Mizoram, is very much ready and willing to contribute as much as we can for the growth, for the unity, for the integration, and for the safety, uh, and for the future of India as a whole. British officer look at that. Is there Pakistan ship force? We have to be protected. Right, sir. So, when we say we have the kind of serial me, I have. If now our air guard is engine me come to any other way, is that the case? Muslim man can see that. So, more of that. Muslim man look at our air force. Sutega. Civil look at Sutega. कि कोई मुसलमान लुक होता है, उसको देख सो सिख देख सकता है, मुसलमान होता है, हम्म, लेकिन गा आलजर में तो हम लोग आर्मी, इंडिया आर्मी है, सिखों असमिज में लुक है, रेल का अंदर में जितना, तो हम लोग आया है नौ सेरा, दरकार फोर्स है नौ सेरा हमने आया, रेल में हो गया, हाँ, तो नौ सेरा से रोल ट्विंटी, र सियाल को से लाहौर, लाहौर से अमरीजार, अमरीजार का थोड़ा आगे में पाकिस्तान के साथ बांग्लादेश था, उसमें दरिया होता है, उसमें हमको हमारा रेल गाड़ी जो है खड़ा कर दिया, जिन्हें रेल का अंदर का ओ रेल का एंजिन में पाकिस्तान आर्मी इस हद के से पाकिस्तान आर्मी बाद में हरियाणा जो है टाव नहीं था उसे उस टाइम में सिमला छोटा रेल का गाड़ी और पंजरा बड़ा रेल का गाड़ी का रेल स्टेशन पे सबसे बड़ा वाला जो है कालका कालका रेल स्टेशन बहुत बड़ा है उस टाइम में हाँ उधर का उसमें चंदीगा नहीं होता चंदीगा बिल्कुल नहीं पड़ा है बाद में हम लोग चंदीगा का प्लेन में एक तरफ थोड़ा सिमला पहाड़ है एक त पटियाला ये पंजाब उस टाइम में हम लोग लड़ाई का सिखाता है ट्रेनिंग करता है जंगल में But the most wonderful part of Mizoram and the Mizo inhabitants are 
that they have not forgotten their origin, their tradition, their culture, way back from the Lusai Hills, which are noted with pride and happiness, not only in their fabric, but in their dance and in their music. They coexist with Christianity in peace, beauty and harmony. No Mizoram, they will not say goodbye to you. They will say hello. Now 